morning kids um, this is Trevor um, we'll do a small little tutorial today covering off the Kano operating system um, so I've just booted up the Kano on the Raspberry Pi this is um, Kano OS uh, which is a Linux based operating system uh, designed for kids uh, part of the Kano kit um, I've just booted it up um, and there's your desktop let's come up in front of you okay let's say okay on the screen um now i'll just make sure that we've had we connected i'll just check the sound settings as i, I find that every time i reboot the kino os um it changes the audio settings for me there you go and i need to change it from speaker to tv because by default, Kano wants to send the audio signals to the speaker. It assumes that uh, you've got a speaker connected, but in our case, it's got we're using a television with HDMI. So I'll close that off. I don't want to reboot now, but uh, you can see as soon as I've done that, it has. As soon as I've made the change, um, you can now hear the sound. Um, so this is the Kano operating system interface. It's one of the best um, interfaces I've seen, operating system interfaces I've seen for kids. Definitely a lot of thought um, and effort has gone into designing of the interface. Um, a beautiful set of applications. You've got a lot of applications here on the screen and we'll cover off a couple of them. But very simply speaking, here's your settings. Um, you click on this. To change your settings um, I won't touch any of them right now there's keyboard mouse audio display um, Wi-Fi if you want to ch uh, connect to Wi-Fi or change your Wi-Fi settings Bluetooth accounts so on and so forth I won't change any of this right now we've already done config uh, we've changed the configuration and we've set it up in our previous video um, here's your sound increase or decrease the sound um, and here is basically a Wi-Fi connection to show you what Wi-Fi you connected to. Um, you've got a whole lot of apps on the screen. Um, there's story mode on the side and I'll come to that a bit later. Um, and you can scroll through the different apps by just clicking on these little tiles over here. So some interesting applications. Um, you have YouTube. So um, um, if you want to watch YouTube, parents can also impose parental controls. Um, so that's um, that's that's a level of uh, um, uh, additional security that you can impose um, uh, while using the Kano kit. Um, Kano has included a couple of um, applications: um, Pixel Kit and the Make Light Kit. I'll let just quickly open it up. So these are applications that Kino have designed to work with their own um, hardware. So this is part of Make Light is part of the um, 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 the Make Light application allows you to use um, the LEDs or NeoPixels that come along with the Kino OS kit. So you can write your own code. Um, they've got different challenges. Um, you can you can step through the different challenges, um, write code and light it up in different ways, light up different colors, light up different LEDs, so on and so forth. Um, we won't dive into that right now. Obviously, we don't have. Um, all I'm doing is I'm using the default Kano OS um, on a normal Raspberry Pi, so I don't have the Kano OS kit with me as such. Um, that's your internet browser. Um, you can browse applications, connect to the internet, um, just like any other web browser. I'll let that load now. Clean desktop, clean user interface, minimum number of applications, very easy to use and very, very well designed, very thoughtful design. So you'll see your familiar YouTube um, interface loading up. Um, there you go. Um, so that's just my Google page that's loaded up for me. There you go. Um, you can click on any video and it will display. 
this is playing off a small little uh, $55 Raspberry Pi. There you go. Um, that's just showing it at the internet works um, and this is the Google Chromium browser that they've included. Um, let's go back. Um, let's look at some of the other applications. Um, so here's your Harry Potter kit. This is if you the application that lets you use the Harry Potter kit. Um, here's the application that um, enables you to use the motion kit. Um, so these are applications that come out of the box with Kano OS that are designed to help you step through the different tutorials um, and learn how to in, um, learn how to use the different um, uh, uh, d devices um, that Kano OS provides you. Um, um, and each of these are can be purchased separately as well. The Pixel Kit, the Harry Potter Kit, the Make Light Kit, and the Motion Kit. Um, whole lot of applications you want if you want to learn coding. Um, Code Academy, um, they have an application included for Code Academy. Sonic Pi, again programming for music um, and creating music on your computer. Um, something that you can check out as well. Google Maps. Um, LibreOffice, which is an open source office, Midori, which is another browser, games, um, Google Drive, Leafpad for taking notes, um, Gmail, and Genie for writing code. Um, more applications. Um, if you are, um, 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 if you are into gaming, there is a lot of applications. Yeah, a lot of games, um, many different choices. Um, you can download additional games and I'll show you how. If you click on the App Store, it will connect to the Kano OS App Store and, and, and gives you the opportunity to browse through applications and download them. So there you go, it's opened up a browser. It's connecting to the Kano OS. Um, there you go, it's having trouble loading, but it should load. It's trying to load the uh, Kano OS, OS store so that it can give you a view of the applications and then you can download them. So there you have the Kano OS store with all these applications in front of you. We've, I've, I've installed most of them, but um, just to show you how you would go about installing applications, you go in. Um, and click install and the application installs. So as simple as that. So that was the um, that was installation of additional applications. Um, a lot of the learning in Kino OS has been gamified. Um, but what I mean by that is Kino OS steps you through numerous different challenges and as you step through them you learn stuff. For example, um, let's take um, uh, make art for example so that was a make art introduction um, let's just, there you go. So basically a drawing with code. So it, Kino OS is, has some really lovely applications which, um, give you the ability to actually uh, play around and learn through a gamification process. Um, I won't go into the detail, there is... Um, let's try the first one. So you see how I've written a line of code um, and it has painted the screen adjacent um, on the other side so you can do a whole lot of interesting stuff and then it says let's basically say color yellow and 
and draw a circle. There you go. So you can do a whole lot of fun stuff. Create, um, create animation. You can create uh, pictures. This is basically um, an application that allows you to create um, a different kind of um, images um, using code. So let's head off. Um, let's go back to our main dashboard. Um, so what are the other coding apps? There are quite a few other coding apps. If you're into Minecraft, you can um, learn Minecraft. Um, there's Scratch as well. This is a good old Scratch, which you can use to um, to do a lot of block-based programming. Um, create interesting animations, create games, um, and here's our good old Scratch. So that's a Scratch guide on the left. Um, there you go. We'll just create a very, very simple program. We'll get the scratch cat to keep rotating all the time. There we go. So we've written a simple program in Scratch to keep rotating the um, scratch cat indefinitely. You can do some really fun stuff. They've, you know, Scratch has got a lovely. Uh, they've got a lot of tutorials online. You can go and uh, check the tutorials out or. If you want to just connect and do Scratch 3, um, the latest version of Scratch, just connect to the internet, go to the internet, um, open up the browser, head over to the internet, make sure you've got a Wi-Fi connection. And what we will do is we will check out scratch.media.mit. So let's put this out for Scratch. There you go. And I'm going to head over to Scratch. So the application that has been loaded as part of the operating system is Scratch 2. Um, and Scratch 2 is what ships with Kino OS, but um, if you want to program in Scratch 3, which is what I, we would advise you to do, is just head over to scratch.mit.edu um, and start coding in Scratch 3. As simple as that. Um, there you go. And it's loading up the Scratch interface, scratch coding interface. It's taking a while, but it'll load up. There you go. And you've got the same old familiar blocks on the left, um, but the newly designed and a beautifully designed Scratch 3 coding interface. Um, head out of, close this one, head out of this. Um, many, many different applications that uh, have been presented uh, and that are available for you to learn, um, for kids to learn um, different computing concepts through gamification. There's a lovely little game over here called Story Mode. Um, I won't go into this right now, probably um, in another tutorial. But um, it story mode allows you to explore different computer science concepts uh, while actually playing a game. Um, um, uh, lots of stuff to learn, lots of interesting applications, very, very engaging, um, beautifully designed, and highly, highly recommended. So hope you check it out. Um, hope you make use of, um, you can download the KNOS, we'll give you the link um, um, on the tutorials. Um, uh, head over to KNOS, download it, or go go directly to Kano um, the Kano OS site the Kano website and grab um, a Kano kit um, and build one yourself. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, have fun, happy hacking, um, and um, have a wonderful uh, day. Speak soon. Cheers.